In this video, I will explain to you how to execute SCADE suite models on host, focusing on functional tests and model coverage tests, and then see how to execute them on target. SCADE test offers the capability to test SCADE suite models on host and to compare the actual outputs to expected results. From the same set of test procedure files, you're able to test the model, measure the model coverage, and perform the tests for the target. Once you've created your design, and defined your tests, you can then start executing your model on host. You first create a test result project to store results without impacting your test data. You have two options to execute your tests on host. You can just execute them or execute them and gain results on model and code coverage. Let's prepare your model verification on host from the GUI. Select settings and check the procedures to process. Under the Host Execution tab, select the SCADE project configuration and enter a target directory. Here you have the possibility to see only the failed tests, or if you prefer to see them all for your analysis, then click OK. And then click on Execute Test. A model verification produces the following list of files in the specified target directory. A simulation trace file per test record. It contains the sequence of actual values of all inputs and outputs, a raw result file, and a test conformance report that details the comparison between the actual results and the expected results. We've seen how to prepare and run functional tests. Now let me give you more details on model and code coverage tests run with SCADE test model coverage. Its objective is to assess that the tests are comprehensively covering the SCADE models and code. It supports the correction or justification of all uncovered parts, both for model and code. SCADE model coverage reuses the same test procedures and data. The purpose is to measure whether the set of test cases is covering the whole model according to a defined criterion. The model coverage analysis thus enables the detection of unintended functions in the model and the completion of the set of test cases. Test model coverage shows how thoroughly the SCADE model has been tested and the role of each test case in covering the operators from the SCADE model. It reveals inadequacies in system requirements, dead or deactivated software parts, and at the end of the analysis, test model coverage produces a model coverage result report. For the code level coverage, Test model coverage evaluates the structural coverage of the code generated by SCADE Suite KCG from a model by a test suite with respect to selected coverage criterion. At the end of the analysis, test model coverage produces a code coverage result report. To prepare a model coverage measurement on host from the GUI, select Settings, then select the Procedures to Process under the General tab. Then go to the Host Execution, Model and Code Coverage tabs, and set the configurations and target directories for the output file. For the code coverage, you have to specify the coverage criteria. The test model coverage results view shows the coverage result at operator and operator content level during analysis sessions. Depending on the selected options, the coverage results are a coverage ratio or a percentage. Textual model coverage report is generated and details the results. The generated code coverage report is generated under HTML and textual format. SCADE test enables the user to merge the results of several model verifications in a consolidated test report. Thank you.